Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Bondage Gone Wild with me, Jess Wild. Today we're talking about pinwheels. Now, pinwheels, often referred to as Wartenberg wheels, were initially invented as a medical device and they were used to test nerve response. Nowadays, however, they're not really used in the medical profession anymore and are pretty much limited to sex play. Pinwheels are often lumped in with BDSM toys because, to be honest, they kind of look a bit scary. Um, as the name suggests, they are covered in metal pins, so at first glance they might look a little bit intimidating, but today I want to take you through exactly how you can use them. Um, and although you can apply them to bondage and BDSM play, they're actually great to bring into more vanilla scenarios too. So today I'm going to show you four different pinwheels. They're all slightly different and have a slightly different feature. I'm also going to tell you a bit about what you want to look out for if you would like to try pinwheel play and tell you what you can expect from it if you come to experiment with a pinwheel. So they're made of metal and as the name suggests it is a bunch of pins on a rotating wheel and it's got some sort of a handle, this one's a metal handle. Now a lot of people can find this look a little bit intimidating um, and it's sort of easy to see why, it's not exactly a soft and cuddly looking kind of tool, but in actual fact they're really fantastic for really quite gentle play. As I've talked about before in some of my other vlogs, a lot of sex play is to do with heightening sensitivity and a pinwheel does exactly that. By prickling over the skin it draws blood to the surface and makes your partner super sensitive to all sorts of other touch. So whether you're going to be playing maybe with a little bit of spanking, some feather ticklers or just with your hands and some massage, a pinwheel is fantastic for heightening that sensation for them. So it's one of my favourites, it's one that I've actually got at home. This is the Bondage Boutique Stainless Steel Wartenberg Pinwheel. Now the reason I really like this one is because it's so simple and it really looks the part. It's got these raised spikes on it but they're actually kind of rounded at the end so they don't prickle into the skin, they don't draw blood, anything like that and the amount of sensation your partner feels really does depend on how much pressure you apply during use. So as you can see it's got a free spinning wheel and it glides over the skin effortlessly. And right now, all I'm feeling is the sensation of sort of gentle prickles. Um, I wouldn't even describe it as sharp. It's more like a, a sort of a bit of a pressure in one area. And of course, it's making a perfect line across my skin because all of these are perfectly lined up. Now, this is actually a fantastic beginner's pinwheel because the tips aren't very sharp on this one. They're quite nicely spaced apart. So you can feel each individual little knobble as it runs across your skin. Um, but it's not too heavy. You've got complete control over the actual pressure you apply and you've got this lovely curve which makes it really ergonomic during use. So this is great for using on your partner's back, legs, any way you like. Another one of my favourites is this pinwheel here. Now as you can see this one's a little bit more chunky and really looks the part. This is our Dominic's five wheel pinwheel. So as you can see we've actually got a row of five individual pinwheels which are then also covered in a bunch of spikes. Each wheel rotates independently, but in reality, whilst you're using this, you are going to be rolling the entire wheel over the surface of your partner's skin. If I show you that sort of straight on. So you can see that sort of glides over the skin. And this is another great one for beginners. Now, it's a little bit heavier than the Bondage Boutique one that I showed you, so you've got to be a little bit aware of how much pressure you're applying to the skin. But to be honest, even laying it directly on me, you know, it's, it's not digging in. Um, well, you just saw me pat myself with it, it doesn't spike in. Um, because you've got these five rows that actually spread sensation, it actually has this result of reducing the impact of each one. So this is a great option if you want something that really looks the part and sort of looks kind of intimidating, but in actual fact isn't, and is nothing but uh, sensory stimulation. Now there were a couple of other pinwheels that I wanted to show you, just because they're quite different from the two I've just shown you. Um, these have got a slightly different design, they're a bit more lightweight, and it might be a bit better if you don't want something that looks really shiny and steel and it's got a bit of a softer approach to it. Okay, so this is the Master Series 9 row prick pinwheel. Just as the Dominic's one I've just shown you, this has actually got several rows of spikes. It's quite difficult to see on this one because it's all black. Um, unlike the Dominic's one, these don't individually rotate. This is on one broad wheel, but you've got nine rows of actual prickles on this. Now, on this one, they're quite sharp. They're really closely put together, which actually means that although they're quite pointy and prickly, um, because they're so closely put together, they don't actually dig into the skin. It still spreads the sensation. And I would actually compare the spikes on this to being a little bit more like the rough side of Velcro almost. Um, I don't know if you can hear that 
sort of scratchy sensation. This actually provides quite a sort of fun tickle. Of, if you could imagine what it would be like stroking yourself with, like I said, that sharper side of Velcro, but without the, the scrape across the skin, because obviously this is going to roll over. So it's actually going to leave fewer marks than if you did use something like Velcro, but it's going to provide quite a similar sensation. And again, you're going to be leaving your partner super sensitive. The reason I really like this one is I love the shape of the handle on this. It's really ergonomic. It's really lightweight, which puts you completely in charge of pressure. And it's got this pretty nifty little sort of ergonomic finger point, which you can rest your finger or your thumb into in order to get exactly the control that you want. Um, I really like this one. It provides a completely different sensation to the other two that I've just shown you. So this can be a great addition, especially if you already like pinwheel play and you're looking for something a bit different. This is a great option to go for. Finally, I've got one last pinwheel to show you by the same company master series this is their mini sensation pinwheel and it's so cute I wanted to show you this one because it's really sort of the odd one out of all the ones I've shown you. As you can see, there's not one single piece of metal on this, which actually makes it fantastic for if you want to enjoy a bit of kinky play away from home, you might be going abroad and you want something that's airport friendly. And also you've got no risk of this clanging or squeaking or anything mid-play, provides a completely silent sensation. Now you may have noticed on this one, if I compare to the first one again, the spacing on the spikes is a little bit wider. So don't be fooled by the fact this is plastic it does actually provide quite uh, an intense sensation. Again, it's not painful, but you will be able to feel each individual spike. Um, you'll also notice they're a little bit more pointy than some of the metal ones because I suppose there's less risk with metal. It's not going to dig in, but it does provide you with quite an interesting sensation that's really quite direct and precise. And finally, something I think is really funky about this one is you can actually take it apart. Now, it might not seem like much, but I actually really like this because you can easily clean it. You can easily pack it down as well for easy transport so if you have a look I've just popped that out of there it's just a hole in the middle and a little sort of two stumps on the inside of here so you can pack it down completely flat it sits into a makeup bag a tiny little bag you know that's not going to take up any space but you'd be amazed at how effective it is um, this is a great alternative to taking a feather tickler you know if you're concerned about getting all the feathers on your feather tickler all scrunched up in a suitcase this can actually provide the same sort of effect by like I said increasing sensitivity but it's really easy to pack away um, and it's so lightweight um, I actually love this little thing, so don't be fooled by its size, it's fantastic. So the main things you want to think about if you're considering buying a pinwheel are the following. You need to think about the weight of the actual tool itself. The heavier it is, it's going to dig into the skin a little bit more. That might be something that you like. I do, because it means I don't have to press into the skin. But if you want to start with a beginner-friendly one, go with something light and experiment with pressure. You'll need to think about how sharp the spikes are, but on top of that, the spacing between them. The further the space, the more intense the sensation the closer they are, the more gentle that feeling is going to be for your partner. You also need to think about how many wheels the pinwheel has. So in just the same way as I've just discussed spacing, the more wheels you have, the more sensation is spread. So it will actually make the feeling less intense. More wheels do also mean that more nerve endings are being touched though, so do bear that in mind. I really like being able to stimulate a larger area all at once. You might prefer a thinner, more direct approach that's a bit more precise and pinpoint. And of course, during use, you'll need to think about the actual area that you're stimulating how sensitive your partner is and how much pressure you apply. And that's it, that's pinwheels. So if you have got any questions about pinwheels or any other sensory play, please do pop them in the comments below. Have you used a pinwheel? Um, is this something you've tried before? Maybe you've looked at them and thought they were a bit scary. Has this changed your mind or is there something else you'd like to know? Do get involved, I love hearing from you. And of course, do make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we post a new vlog every single week, so you'll see me every Friday. There's Sammy Cole on Mondays with Undie Mondays and of course, Tilly every Thursday with Sex Toys Ahoy.